Hey Kevin here with another Flippin' Dork Flips and Finds video where I show you some items that I have found and have sold this week and uh, to kind of give me an idea of the types of things I'm flipping besides just furniture makeovers now. Alright, so the very first item that went is this right here. This is a Texas Instruments BA2 Plus calculator. Um, I was looking for a lot of calculators uh, a couple months ago when I was doing like uh, yard sales and things like that. I found some. I actually found a couple of these for like a dollar. They ended up being decent buys. This was a bad buy though. Um, it come with the books. So I thought maybe that would make it more valuable. I was at the our local Habitat for Humanity Restore. It's like a, a thrift store, but ours is not that good. But they did have this there. It was five bucks. I thought maybe it was going to be a good deal because it had the book. Ended up it wasn't. Um, on a good day, this might go for 20 bucks. I had it listed for $19.95 for a couple months and it didn't sell. So a couple days ago, last week, I dropped the price down to $16.95 and then it sold. I've actually in the last week sold three of these. So I think the trick to a business calculator is to list them at the beginning of the college semester. Like right now, it's the end of January. School is starting back up. So people are buying these for classes. They also would probably sell really well in August when classes start. So on a business calculator, I probably, if I see any more, if they're like a dollar, maybe two dollars, dollar fifty, but hopefully a dollar or less, I might buy them just because they're so easy to ship out. But for the most part, I'm gonna pass on these. I will continue buying graphing calculators. So those are worth a lot of money. You can find them really cheap. I've paid up to 15 for one. I've also bought some that were like $2. Um, I bought a T, the very first calculator actually I ever bought was a TI, a Texas Instruments TI-84 calculator. I paid $2 on it. I listed it that night and within five minutes it sold for 65 bucks. And that was back in the end of August when school was starting back up. So I think that's a trick if you want really fast sales, put them up around um, when school starts. And again, graphing calculators way better than these little business calculators. All right, second item I sold is this right here. This is a brand new pair of women's Nikes. I don't remember the make and model. They're a little bit plain Jane and boring, but these are an experiment in retail arbitrage where you go to like your local stores and try to find a good deal that will sell for more online. So these I actually picked up at Ross, Ross for less, all right. Um, these were $32.99, and when I looked them up on eBay and searched them, it looked like they were gonna go between 70 and 80. So I listed them at $74.95. I had them up for two months. I got an offer for $70. I just took it. And I will make a little money, but it's not amazing. So I'll probably, after it's all said and done, I'm going to pay shipping on them. And there's going to be some fees involved. I'll probably end up making like between $15 and $20 on them. So, I mean, it's way better than a calculator. It took about just as long to sell. But it's not that great. I've had other pairs of shoes from Ross that have made me like over $50. There's one pair that I made over $70 on. Um, and uh, I will try to find shoes like that. I, I do come across them, and uh, I, you know, definitely if I think I'm going to make more than $50, I think it's worth it. This pair I thought I was going to make about $25, but I didn't. So I, I will start to pass on shoes like this and really slow down. I actually bought, uh, I think, seven or eight pairs of shoes over time at Ross. I, put, I bought about like $350 worth of them one day. To experiment, I've sold about half of them, and the money has not been as great as I thought. So, like I said, one pair did make over 70, but then this pair, I'm making like 15, so it's kind of kind of iffy. So, anyway, that is the very first two sales of the week. I need to ship them out, so I'm going to cut the video right here, and then uh, any other sales that happen, and then also some fines, I will show you later. All right, so I have the calculator and the shoes shipped off from yesterday, and then last night I got an offer on these, and then this morning they sold. So, these are Auburn Flexible Building Bricks. This is kind of after Lincoln Logs, but before Lego. Um, they're very similar to like a Lego, a little bit bigger, a very uh, more of like a primitive version of it. But I just thought the graphics were really cool. I found this uh, sitting in a box at a garage sale for five bucks. When I looked it up, they were selling between like 20 and 30, just depended on the condition. This one's not amazing condition. So anyway, I listed them about two months ago for I think $27.95. My low on the best offer was $21. I had a guy in Canada a couple of days ago asking if I was willing to ship them up there. So I started to look into that to see how much extra it would cost him to have them shipped. And then another guy, one stay over, contacted me through eBay messaging and said, hey, I had offered $15 and then 20. They were both declined. Let me know. Uh, let me tell you why I was only offering that. And it turns out he's like this Auburn collector. He knew all about this kit. He knew what parts were missing. He knew that the uh, white pieces in here are actually from this different kit. So he's like the perfect guy. He's really close and he's really once he's bad. So I told him that, hey, my minimum is 21. If you want it, just make me the offer and I'll take it. So this morning he offered me 21. I accepted it. He's also going to pay some shipping. I don't think I asked quite enough on that though. So once all said and done, 
Uh, I'll probably make like 10, 12, maybe $13. So it's not like this amazing sale, but it's kind of a cool story. And I just really like, you know, just owning these for all. It's pretty cool graphics, kind of a cool little toy. All right, so another really awesome sale from today was one of my experiments in retail arbitrage. It's this right here, the Jetson Bean electric folding scooter. I showed this in a different video. I picked it up in the clearance section of Target for $89.98. Just dirt cheap on this thing. I remember looking at these before Christmas. They were around $300. At one time, they had a markdown, like right before Christmas, at like $249, $259. They were still way up there. For whatever reason, they are now clearance down to $89.98. So I grabbed it after I looked on eBay and I saw that everyone was selling them between like $200 and $250, maybe a little more than that. They were offering free shipping. I had never shipped anything quite this heavy. I assumed it was about 50 bucks. And after looking to it, that's probably about right. It's probably gonna cost about 35 to 50 to ship. So I paid 90, let's say it's 50 to ship, that take it to 140. There's gonna be some eBay and PayPal fees. I think it's 13%, I could be wrong. So I'm gonna guesstimate about another 30 bucks. So that brings us to 170. So I'm still all the way up to 230. So that's like a $60 profit. It might be a little less, it might be a little more, maybe 50 to 70, somewhere on there. So I think that's a really, really good turnaround on this, especially after it's sold in only like three or four days. So when I found this one, this is the blue one, they also had a green one, but for whatever reason it was marked at um, $148. So I'll go back and see if it ever sells, and if not, I'll wait for it to drop down and then uh, grab it too and list it, and I think it will sell really well. All right, so now it's another day. I have a couple more sales I want to show you, and then I want to show you a bunch of stuff I just picked up today and yesterday at thrift stores. And I'm going to have to do this a little bit quick because I actually have to mail these off today. All right, um, first thing is this polo by Ralph Lauren sweater. I showed this in a previous video. It's navy blue and white. It's a really long, it's a, a 2XLT, so it's a 2 extra large and it's a tall. So this is for like a really tall big guy. And uh, anyway, um, I bought it for $3.50 at Goodwill. I listed it for $44.95 with a minimum of $38. I assumed it was probably going to sell at $40. And then I had this guy that kept offering me $35. He said, I'm a serious buyer, I'm a serious buyer, I want it for $35. So I went ahead and dropped my price and sold it to him this morning for $35. So after shipping, shipping and all that, I'll still make between like $20 and $25. So that was pretty good. I have to admit, after I bought this, I was a little worried that maybe it's a little too plain, but I think the saving grace on this was the size, the 2XLT. It's probably difficult to find good clothes in that size, so he's, he's willing to pay up. Okay, another one is this right here. It's a tie. Probably should show it out of the bag. Um, I got this several months ago at a yard sale for 50 cents. Um, I actually got a really awesome bag there, too, that I got for free, and then I sold for $300. But anyway, this is a, a tie. It's silk. It's uh, designed exclusively for the Field Museum of Natural History. The pattern on there is Saturn. Can you see that? It's the planet Saturn. So I thought that was kind of cool. Plus, it's like from a history museum. Someone out there is going to think this is interesting. I believe it had a small stain on it somewhere, but it's really light. But uh, anyway, I had it listed for several months, paid 50 cents, and it sold for 15 bucks. So I think I had it listed at $19.95 with a minimum of $15. So as soon as I got the first offer, I went ahead and just took it to be done with it. So that's the two things I got to ship out today. Um, I also had a sale the other day. I don't think I showed this yet. It's a vintage three-level shelf. Um, I paid five bucks on it. The idea was I was probably going to repaint it and then try to sell it for, I don't know, like $25, $30, bucks, something like that. I never did it. I kept it around for a while. I finally decided to just list it the other day because I was trying to clear out stuff in my room. I put it up for $15 and a lady agreed to buy it for $10. So anyway, that one uh, sold to only made five bucks, but whatever, I got rid of it. Okay, another one. Uh, another reason I have to kind of rush this video a little bit is I just sold a PS1. Uh, I thought I brought it here with me. Hmm. Well, oh, here we go, right here. Okay, so I bought this at a yard sale several months back. This is the full system. Um, PS1 is the right after original PlayStation. They made it in like a miniature version. And uh, this one had a game in there. It has two controllers. They're in decent shape. The rubber on the little joysticks was all messed up. So I actually peeled that off. And it's in better shape now than when it had it on there. And then it has the power cable that goes to the wall. But it does not have the cable that plugs it into the TV to hook it up. And they were only like three or four dollars on eBay and I never got around to buying one. 
and so I was never able to test it. So I just decided the other day to get rid of it, clearance it out, and I put it up on uh, Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist locally for 20 bucks. And there's a lady wanting to buy it here in the next about 45 minutes. So hopefully that will go, and that will be a $15 profit. Not amazing, but I'm just trying to get rid of it. All right, so that was sales for the last couple of days. I'm going I'm to stop on sales right now because the weekend's just about to start. And I think that's when they're going to really start to pump through a little better. So now let me show you some of the things I've purchased in the last couple of days. All right, so here's some finds from the last couple of days. Um, by the way, you probably heard my phone go off. That was the guy that was buying this polo sweater. He's like, are you shipping it today? Looks like a nice one. I hope you're shipping it out today. So he's like really serious about getting that thing. So, okay, finds that I have picked up. All right, the other day at Goodwill, I just went real quick because I had to run to town. So when I dropped in, I was looking for just anything I could find. I was trying to find furniture or something that was worth, something I could like sell for about $40, $50, $60. I ended up finding this, all right? This ended up being really cool. I need to clean up a little bit. Um, when I saw it, I realized it was Disney. It's Bambi, Thumper, and what was it a little, a little stinker? I don't know. What's the the uh, skunk's name? I don't know. Whatever. doesn't matter. But anyway, it's a Bambi uh, uh, snow globe here. It looks like it's fall themed. It has like acorns and leaves and all that. I don't know if maybe they made like a winter one and a summer one. But it's Hallmark. It's Disney. Uh, I scanned the um, barcode on my eBay app and I couldn't find it. But when I was doing that, you can see I paid three bucks for it. It has a suggested price down here at $44.95. So when this thing was new, someone paid $45 bucks for it. So I uh, ended up type in, typing in uh, Hallmark Disney Bambi Fall Snow Globe or something like that, and I found it. And they are selling between $45 and $50. Bucks. So they have held their value. So that was awesome. Paid three bucks, and it should sell for what, probably $40, $45, something like that. So that's pretty cool. All right, that same day at Goodwill, I found this leather jacket right here. All right, this is L.L. Bean. It's a large, paid 20 bucks for this thing. They had it marked way up, but it was in good condition. The only problem is, I think I mentioned this in another video, it has the white tag and they wrote 20 on there. I hate when they do that, but I can't do much because it's, you know, that's just how they do it. So I'll try to clean it out with some uh, rubbing alcohol. I've had success with it before, but that was on a dark colored tag. I don't know if this light colored tag will come out. Great shape, no snags. I mean, the elastic is in great shape. It looks like someone has either never really worn it or just barely worn it. But anyway, for 20 bucks, it should go really well. I looked them up, and it wasn't as high as I thought. I was hoping it was going to be like $100, $120, but I think they're more like uh, $55 to $75, somewhere around there. So I'm going to shoot for at least $60 something out of it. And after paying fees and shipping, I'll probably end up making like $30 on it or something like that. But I thought that was pretty cool. So that was the other day. All right, so today, the first thing I found is this right here. This is a remote. It's for a Pioneer. Um, I just, it has a little model number down here. I typed it in. I was really surprised. So I've sold a couple of remotes before. I actually bought a bag of six remotes at a yard sale one time because two of them looked really good. Turns out three of them were worth good money. After I sold them all, I made over $90 on three of the remotes. And then the other three uh, I still have, they, they might make me about 10 to $15, but some of these old remotes are worth pretty good money. So this one's Pioneer. It is missing the thing on the back, which I think is going to devalue it a little bit. I paid $1.50, and when I looked up comps, some of them are selling between uh, 20 and 25 bucks. So I think with this missing on the back, it should probably go between 15 and 20 So I don't know. It's just something kind of cool. And I picked this up at my local uh, Habitat for Humanity Restore. Okay, another thing I got today, oh, right here, I got this at Goodwill, um, I thought this was really cool, it's this light right here, alright, so it is not vintage or anything, but it's actually in still new condition, so it just don't have the box, but it has the tag, everything is still wrapped up, I paid up on it, at least in my opinion I paid up, it was $12.99, um, the reason I got this is because I recognize it, we actually have um, this is part of a series. There's three different lights designs to be sold as a set and we have one of them downstairs in our dining room that we painted blue. But uh, this is the other one we were actually kind of thinking about getting. So for 13 bucks, either I will keep it or I can sell it. When I looked it up, there was a brand new one in a box on eBay. They were trying to sell it for 75 bucks. So I figured without a box and in decent condition, I, I'm now noticing a couple of really tiny dings. 
maybe thirty to forty-five dollars, somewhere around there. So I'll, I'll just see. We might end up keeping it and using it somewhere. But uh, I thought that was really cool. This is a uh, what's the brand? What what would that be? Safa V lighting or something like that. I, I don't know if there's a particular brand, but I think it was designed by a uh, respectable designer, modern designer. But I thought that was pretty cool, so I should at least double or triple my money on that. I think that was it for like the those types of goods, so I got a bunch of clothes today too. All right, so at Salvation Army, I found this. Um, I thought it was pretty cool. I thought it was wool, but it's not. It's They're calling it chamois, uh, chamois cloth shirt. It's 100% cotton, and it, it actually feels like a chamois. All right. The reason I grabbed this one is because it is an LL Bean and it is new with tags. I still had the tag on there. All right. The the price is not on there, but who knows? This is probably pretty expensive. Five bucks at our Salvation Army is actually pretty high. But this is an amazing shape. And again, this is an XLT. So this is an extra large tall. So hopefully it will sell just as well as this one did. So I looked these up and I think this is going to be about a $25 to $35 shirt, something like that. So that's a pretty good return for five bucks. All right, another find. This was at Goodwill. And uh, this is a Wrangler Western shirt. I mean, just looking at it, you can tell exactly why I picked this one up. It's because of the fabric, that kind of rainbow, almost like uh, Aztec or a Mexican blanket. Um, just has that look to it. I think that will make it sell really well. It's a pretty good size. It's a, uh, well, what would that be? A 16, and it's an extra long tail. What is that size? I thought it was a large. I think it's a large, anyway. Maybe an XL. But uh, anyway, just the color on that, I think this would be a really, really good seller. And it's a Wrangler cowboy cut, regular fit. I mean, it just sounds a little nicer than your standard Wrangler shirt. So again, I find these like Western shirts all the time and they have been doing pretty well. I, had, I passed on a bunch of other shirts and pearl snaps, but I grabbed this one because that just says it's gonna sell really well, that color combo. This one may have not been the wisest purchase, but I'm gonna go for it and see what happens. This is an, I think it's old, Adidas jacket. And um, I don't like that it has the St. Louis Cardinals embroidery on the chest. I mean, that might help. The main reason I grabbed it is because it has the old school Adidas tray foil design. I don't know if this is actually old, though. It might be like a, a, a reboot, a remake or whatever. But if it is old, then it's worth really good money. But I'm going to guesstimate, let's see, I paid $450 on it. I'm going to guesstimate that it's probably somewhere in the 20s, maybe 20 to 30 but, um, I mean, if it was a legit old one and it didn't have this, it might be way more than that. It could be like 30 to 60. Um, I think if you get an old one that has the old style uh, Adidas trefoil, that is worth good money. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll see on this one. We'll see what happens. Okay, so I was really pumped when I found this next one. It's another jacket. All right, check it out. It's a polo by Ralph Lauren. This is a suede leather jacket. It's real 100% leather. The interior is kind of wool-like, but it's 30% wool, 30% polyester, 35% acrylic, 5% other fibers. Um, this thing is in super nice shape. No snags, no stains. Looks like it has almost never been worn. I was really surprised to find it. And it was, again, only 9 bucks. I was for sure this thing was going to be like $20, but they had no, no price except for 9 on there. Okay, so uh, again, they wrote 9 on the tag, but it's, it's really hard to see compared to the uh, the other one. So this one I think will wash out real easy. I've done it before with um, uh, uh, rubbing alcohol. It takes a little while, but it does come out. So this thing's got some real heft to it. I was excited when I found this thing. I was like, I can't believe I found this. It's so hard to find anything good at our around where I live. And I was really happy to find this. But anyway, I was hoping it was going to be about $100, maybe $120, but it's not. I think this is probably going to go somewhere between $50 and $75, which is still really good, especially only uh, paying $9 on it. I think it would be a really good return. It's in really nice shape. Okay, and then this last one is really cool. I'm, I'm a little bit uh, torn on this one because I kind of want to keep it, but it will sell really well, okay? This is a Levi's Sherpa jacket, a men's extra large and check out that tag. That tells me this is actually pretty old. Uh, I'll have to look into it, but I'm going to say, uh, I don't know when, well, I don't know. Made in USA, um, maybe that's 70s or 80s. If this is 70s, it's in amazing condition. So I don't know if it's quite that old. Maybe they did a retro tag back in the 80s or 90s or something, I don't know. This thing's really cool, it fits. I've been looking for one of these, but it sells for so good that I, oh, I don't know if I wanna 
keep it or not. It does have a stain um, right here on the sleeve. It's kind of hard to see, but it has a, oh, about the size of my pinky of pale beigey, I don't know what it is. And then there was something, yeah, right here is a little bit of something. You can barely see it. This is the trucker jacket, you know, their classic trucker, but it's lined, so it's the Sherpa, so it's worth even more money. Plus, I think it's vintage because of that tag. So when I looked these up, again, I only paid uh, nine bucks for it at Goodwill today, all right? And I think at a minimum, this is $50, but it could be, it could be 60, 70, 80, 90. I don't think it'll be 100, but I mean, this could be an $80 jacket or so. so. Uh, I'm kind of going back and forth between I only paid nine. Do I want to keep it? I've been looking for one. I'll never find one again for that cheap for a long time. Or do I want to sell it and get my money back? I don't need another jacket. So anyway, I thought this was really cool. And I can't believe I found so many good jackets today all in a row. Kind of makes me wonder if maybe it was the same person that donated them all. But I thought that was really cool. And I've never seen that Levi's tag. So who knows? This could be really old or maybe not. This again has writing on it. Um, paid nine. You can see that right there. They wrote nine in a dash. But there's other writing on there, so uh, we'll just have to see what happens. I can get underneath it, so whenever I, I use the rubbing alcohol, I can put like a rag under there, and that rag will soak it up and kind of get rid of the stain that way. But we'll just see. I might, I might leave it since there's other numbers written. You can't tell that's the price. But this was really cool. I was really surprised to find that. I have some other Levi jackets, and they have not sold um, yet because it got so cold, but this one being Sherpa lined, I think will sell really well. So that is the flips and finds from the last couple of days. I'm not going to do the weekend yet because I feel like there's probably going to be some more things happening. So I need to, uh, to stop now so I get these shipped out within the next like half hour. Meet that lady to uh, sell her the PS1. And uh, anyway, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I really, really appreciate if you could subscribe. I'm trying to grow up the channel. And again, if you liked anything about it or you know anything or whatever, leave a comment. That'd be pretty cool. So thanks again for checking it out.